Hello everyone! Welcome to the first part of my Sonic Forces Speed Battle Beginner Guide series. I'm making this guide series to help give new players some tips and tricks on how to get started and climb up the ladder a bit more easily. Hopefully this info will be of some use to you, so please stay tuned and enjoy. Today I just want to introduce you to some of the basics about items. Items come in four main categories. Fire, Ice, Electric, and Wind. There are also some categories such as Illusion, which only have two items and some rare and super rare character items that don't belong in a category at all, but we'll get to those later. Let's start with fire. There are three items here. Fireball, which travels quickly but overall hits the least hard on its own, and can be picked up in a set of two or three as it's upgraded. Fire boost, one of the fastest and longest lasting boosts in the game, which will seriously make you regret ever playing this game if you get hit by it, but seriously, don't get hit by it and Explosive Mines, commonly referred to as either E-Mines or just Mines, they will cover the three lanes you aren't in upon using them like most traps and will do a very large amount of damage when you hit them. Blaze also has two unique items here. Fire Whirl, a fiery version of Whirlwind that hits hard and increases in damage with each upgrade, and Lava Bomb, which, unlike most Mines, will only appear in one lane but will automatically target the player ahead of you no matter where they are on the track. Be careful though, this means that it'll target you if you're in first place, so don't hit one of your own. Then there's Ice. Ice Wave, an ability belonging only to Chaos, which covers one, two, or three lanes depending on how much it's upgraded. Ice Boost, a slow to accelerate, but long lasting boost which will freeze anyone you hit. And Ice Mine, which is useful for sending opponents sliding helplessly into bottomless pits or other traps. Next are the electric items. Lightning, an ability which targets the runner in first, or the runner in second if you're in first. Motobug, an item which will zoom forward and zap whoever it hits. Electro Boost, a quick boost that attracts rings. And Storm Clouds, a trap item belonging to Shadow that causes a set of clouds you can only slide under or go around to dodge to appear. For the last of the larger categories, we have Wind. It's worth noting that all wind attacks will give you 5 rings upon hitting an opponent with them. We have Whirlwind, an item that will travel through obstacles and continue after hitting targets. Bashosin, an item belonging to Jet that goes through obstacles like Whirlwind but hits harder and leaves a very long trail which also damages opponents. Wind Boost, a quickly accelerating boost that briefly spins opponents upon hitting them. And Tornado, a set of traps on the ground that don't disappear if someone hits them making it easier to hit multiple racers. Big also has Umbrella Boost, which is a slow boost that lasts for years and will hurt more than a little if it hits you, so treat it like Fire Boost in most cases. For the final overall category, we have Illusion. It has Illusion Boost, a fast and long-lasting boost that is very useful for catching up, and Illusion Mines, which can really mess up your opponent, especially on tracks with triple dash pads. Then we have the various items that don't really fall into any categories. There's Power Sneakers, the boost belonging to Sonic and Shadow, which both moves and accelerates incredibly fast and is by far the fastest boost in the game. Invincibility, which lasts for a long time and slightly increases your speed while making you immune to everything other than game crashes and falling into bottomless pits. Booby Trap, Rouge's item, which will lock item slots that can only be opened by spending a certain amount of rings. Bubble Bomb, Vector's trap item, which will cause bubbles to fill up a part of the player's screen, which must be tapped quickly to be popped. Star Trail, Zaz's trap item, which causes him to leave a trail of seemingly explosive stars behind him to bar the path of other racers. Chopper Chomp, Big's projectile, which travels relatively slowly but will stop you in place for several seconds and is probably the second most devastating item after Fire bo ugh, Sorry, Fire Boost. Lily Trap. Big's Trap, which causes jets of water that must be dodged from the sides to shoot into the air, alternating lanes every few seconds. Chow Attack, Cream's Projectile, which acts like a boomerang and will greatly slow an opponent down on contact. Bunny Boost, Cream's Boost, which gives a quick burst of speed every time you change lanes, making it high risk, high reward. Chow Nato, Cream's Trap, which behaves similarly to Lava Bomb in that it will automatically target whoever is in first place, giving the user a small boost if somebody hits it. And finally, shields. Shields will fill up the middle item slot if you're within a certain distance of the racer in first place, which will last for a few seconds and protect you from one hit in that time. These can be very strong when used correctly, so make sure to use them to your advantage. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope it was useful to you, and I'll be releasing some more parts covering some things like gameplay tactics and 
tracks and maybe some strategies if you want to see it uh feel free to let me know this is the first kind like this kind of video i made so yeah uh that's really off all i have to say so always remember you're the coolest thanks for watching